Hey everybody, this is Fat Donnie, and I wanted to give you an update on my weight loss surgery um, journey. So, wow, this journey is actually moving along pretty fast because um, I went to see the surgeon on Monday, January 21st, 2019, and um, they actually have an accelerated program where on that day of the um, consultation, you get to meet with the surgeon, the nutritionist, and the exercise physiologist. So I met with three people. I left out of there with a big binder that gives me um, step by step of how to prepare for this journey and um, a list of all the the tests and the labs and um, the appointments that I need to make um, before um, I'm approved. And so when I left the office or was leaving, they told me that the surgeon was going to put in my order for an upper GI test. And so I think the day after or the next day, I got a call um, to make an appointment for that upper GI test. And I made that appointment for this past Friday, yesterday. Today is Saturday, um, January 26, 2019. And so yesterday, Friday, I went in for that upper GI test. So that's basically a test that they need to take to see if I have um, acid reflux or GERD or any other issues with digestion. And so the process is um, pretty simple. I was in and out within an hour, um, but I went to the um, imaging center and <clears throat> you have to get, <clears throat> excuse me, completely undressed. I put on a robe and, um, and I'm in the x-ray room and the radio with some two technicians because one was in training and then the radiologist came in and I stood on the lab table. The lab table was elevated um, to an upright position. So I stood on the table first and um, had to drink this milkshake type thing. Um, it's actually got barium in it. And um, so I had to drink that while standing and a radiologist took pictures of my esophagus and stomach and whatever else he was looking at to see the flow of the um the shake and then um he laid me back on the table went back down and um I had to turn around while laying on the table to kind of stir up the medicine that was inside my um stomach um, so they can see how it flows and um he took pictures of that and then um, I drank some more um, of a different kind of shake while I was laying down on my stomach. I hate laying, I hate drinking or eating laying down, but I had to um, drink this other um, shake while laying down on my stomach so that they could see how um, my digestion works without the force of gravity, as they said. And then um, they, they have to see it kind of gurgling inside or moving inside or whatever. So they had this little trick in the middle of the test. Um, he asked me, the radiologist asked me, what was my favorite food? So I said, chicken wings. And so they all start talking to me about chicken wings. They said, Oh, what kind of, what flavor do you like? And I'm like, lemon pepper. And where do you like to get them from? I said, I'm a town wings. So we, we all start talking about chicken wings. And while we were talking about the wings, I guess my stomach started doing some tossed and tossing and turning leaps and bounds or whatever it was doing. Um, but it was doing what the radiologist needed it to do uh, so that he can see how those milkshake things I was drinking was uh, moving around in my stomach. So it's a little trick that they do, you know, that they get you thinking about your favorite foods and then your stomach starts moving. So um, I did that. The test itself was like, probably 10, 15 minutes long, if that long, uh, probably 15 minutes at the most. Um, so I didn't see the x-rays or they didn't say anything to me about what was going on um, in it. I guess they just have to take them and read them and uh, write up a report and send it to my um, bariatric surgeon so that he'll know um, how my insides are working when I'm swallowing. So 
I think this test will help decide whether I need to have the R and Y as opposed to the sleeve. So if, um, if I need to, then obviously that's the one I'm going to pick. But if I don't need to have R and Y because I don't have GERD or anything like that, then, um, it's still my choice as to whether I want to do the sleeve or R and Y. So, um, I'll wait for those results and hopefully they'll help me decide, um, which one to pick. Cause I'm still indecisive on which one to pick. Um, I'm still kind of leaning towards R and Y only because you get um, better weight loss results from that. And I want the ultimate opportunity. If I'm going to go um, get some incisions and everything, poke holes in my stomach, then I want the best results possible. So um, I'm still leaning towards R and Y because of that. So we'll see once the test results come back uh, what that looks like. But in the meantime, I'm going to make an appointment for the uh, psychological exam um, or whatever it is. So um, I can do that probably in February. And then I'm already scheduled for a nutrition and exercise class for both February and March. And um, I'm going to wait till March to do my labs. Um, I'm taking vitamins now, multivitamins. I've been taking them for years, but um, um, I'm going to keep taking my multivitamins to um, build up my my vitamins, my levels. And um, I know I'm I've been deficient on vitamin D, so I, I need to go and get a vitamin D over the counter so that I can um, build up my vitamin D. I'm sometimes uh, deficient in iron, so I do have a separate iron supplement as well. So I'm going to start building that up as well before I take these labs in March um, and then um, you know finish up whatever else I need to do to get approved um, hopefully I'm aiming to get approved sometime around April and they said that I should be ready for my um, surgery in May but I'm going on a cruise in May so I want to wait till June to actually have surgery so in the meantime I'm getting all my items checked off of my list and um, I'm in the gym. I've gone two times this week. I went on Tuesday and Thursday. Those are going to be my days um, unless something comes up then I'll switch it for that week. Um, Tuesday, Thursdays and then Sunday. So tomorrow, it's Saturday now. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to go to the gym to get three workouts in a week. So that's all I'm going to do right now with the workouts. Um, my stomach hurts. From doing the crunch machine so the app the abdominal machine so I need to um, I might not even do that one tomorrow because it really hurts but um, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying my cardio workout with the elliptical and the bike 15 minutes on each and um, burning maybe a little over 350 calories all together with that part of it and then I do the machines you know building up some strength um, building up my muscles on my arms and legs so that when I get to surgery uh, and after surgery, I'll be used to the workouts and then um, I'll be building muscle, which helps to um, burn fat, keep my metabolism high, and hopefully ultimately get my skin to bounce back and not sag as much um, after losing my potential 141 pounds. That's my ultimate goal. Um, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm moving, moving ahead, uh, one day at a time, um, keeping, you know, keeping something on, you know, on schedule as the weeks go by, especially like working out, that's going to be weekly and watching when I'm eating, um, even now. So again, my goal is to lose 15 pounds before, uh, surgery really over the next three months, but I kind of have four or five months to lose it. Um, not a requirement of my insurance, just a requirement of the surgeon's office. They want to see some progress. And then ultimately, like I said before, insurance is going to want to see that progress as well. So um, that's where I am so far um, right now. Again, I'm 5'10 and a quarter. I'm 48 years old. My current weight is about three, 
16. My highest weight has been around 330. And um, so that's where I am on my journey. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments or uh, advice to give me, please leave that for me in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for listening.